Well, the effects of climate change are drastically affecting oceans around the world. According to a new study, the ocean circulation in the North Atlantic is likely to collapse by 2025, and this as a result of climate change. Scientists say that the collapse of this system could lead to disastrous weather conditions across the globe. But what is this system and how will it have a disastrous effect? Let me explain. This ocean current system is called the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation. It is a vital system of the ocean currents that circulates water throughout the Atlantic Ocean. This circulation takes an estimated 1,000 years to complete, but has slowed even more since the mid-1900s. Now, where is this located? The Gulf Stream is a warm and swift Atlantic Ocean current that originates in the Gulf of Mexico. It flows through the Straits of Florida, up in the eastern coastline of the United States, then diverges east near North Carolina and moves towards Northwest Europe as the North Atlantic Current. Now, how does this system work? This circulation movement is driven by differences in water density. So the AMOC is like a conveyor belt, which transports or rather carries warm water from the tropics towards the North Atlantic. This is where the water gets cooled and it sinks. It then returns to the tropics and then to the South Atlantic as a bottom current. From there, it is distributed to all ocean bases, basins rather, via the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, which is the most important current in the Southern Ocean and the only current that flows completely around the world. So how is the system collapsing is the next question. Well, as the ocean heats up, the ice melts, more fresh water flows into the ocean and in turn reduces the water's density, making it less able to sink. When waters become too fresh, too warm or both, the conveyor belt stops. What would be the implications of the collapse of the AMOC current? Now let's look, take a look at that. Well, since the current plays a crucial role in the climate system in helping regulate global weather patterns, its collapse would have enormous implications. This includes much more extreme winters in the Northern Hemisphere and decreased rainfall over Europe. Sea level rises can affect parts of Europe and the United States, and this could influence the shifting of the monsoon in the tropics. For more on this, we have with us Professor Peter Ditlewson, who is a professor of climate physics at the University of Copenhagen. He is also the co-author of the study which predicts AMOC collapse and says that we are nearing the tipping point. Professor Peter, my first question to you is, this certainly sounds ominous. Now, considering the weather conditions that we see around the world, how likely is it for this situation in the report to be a reality and how serious do you think the matter really is here? Well, there are two things to that. One is, of course, that, um, that it is very serious if it happens. I would say, I would, I would just make sort of a... a um, a, a small correction. So what we do predict is that it's likely to happen in about mid-century, which is 35 years from now. But uh, the, 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 the risk that it is already to happen as soon as next year or actually about to happen now is existing. But we have to realize that this is a slow process in terms of our lives. So a new study that just came out of Utrecht University in the Netherlands uh, does do a computer model simulation. So this is a climate model of the IPCC climate model types that actually shows in detail, according to this model, what will happen in different parts of the world. And this is definitely something that will especially influence Europe uh, severely if, if it happens. Okay, you do mention the paucity of time. So I am going to ask you something on the line of the time constraints here. Is there really not much that can be done to reverse this change? Is it already too late? If it is too late, can we at least reverse or at least reduce the effects of this? Yeah. I, I, I'm, uh, 
I'm an optimist in in the sense that 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 if we realize that this is really a a a risk that we have to as world society to react on, it is not too late. But it is a very very difficult uh, job to do, even if we have passed that uh, tipping point or is about to to pass that tipping point. The possibility of reversing is there. However, if this depends on the amount of uh, greenhouse gases we've emitted to the to the atmosphere, that is very very difficult to to reverse. So, uh, so what we have to hope for is that we can postpone it out in time until we have uh, succeeded with a full global green transition. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Professor, for joining us with your insights. While science warns, it also uh, gives a ray of hope for the imminent future. Thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.